Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, we're going to talk about OneNote for project management. And right here, I'm basically inside my OneNote Microsoft application or desktop application. Now basically, OneNote is going to be the forgotten app. It's going to be the obsolete application. So for this video, I'm going to teach you and how to really utilize it. So first things first, of course, we're going to create a notebook. That's why we call it OneNote. Think of it as your personalized notebook that has pages and sections. Hence the name OneNote. So first things first, click on file right there, click on new, and then choose a status where you want to save it. For example, if you want to save it on your OneDrive, your sites, for me, I'm going to go for this PC. I'm going to name this one tutorial box sample one, like this one right there. Perfect. So that will be tutorial box sample one. Simply click on create notebook, or you're going to have an option to create in a different folder. For me, I'm going to click on create notebook right there and we have it right here. Now, once you're here, you can add a page. For example, I'm going to add a page there, add one more page, or I can simply delete the pages that are not necessary. On the three lines right there, you can name this one. For example, I have two notebooks going on there. I have one right there, one right here. And of course, the new one is going to be this one right there. Tutorial box sample number one. Let me just close this one because actually they're going to be duplicate. Perfect. So I have tutorial box and I have tutorial box number one. Let's focus on number one now, right? So basically what's next? Next is going to be naming or renaming this one. For example, the sections. Let me call this one section one. I can add the section right there. I'm going to rename this one section two. Sorry about that. Should not be right there. Should be right here. Perfectly right there. Next up. You can add anything here. For example, you want to add yourself a spreadsheet, an attachment, a file, a picture, whatever you want. That would be depending on your preference. But for me, I'm going to focus on page templates. Before I go into that, I'm going to name this one, of course. Let's just go for tutorial box. As you can see, real time, it's being changed as you see fit. If I add one here, there will be added the one right there. Perfect, right? Now, speaking of templates, make sure you have this one. I have project overview right there. This is the one I created earlier, which is going to be this one right here. Now I'm going to focus this one. So I want to teach you how to do this step by step. So page template, I want you to click on page template. You'll have options right here. You have academic, you have blank up to planner. Now I want you to go to business, click on the project overview, and you're going to have this option right here. You'll have so much template to work with. You can move it right there. Whatever you want, this is going to be your new template. Of course, there are things that you don't want here. I want to delete this one. It's actually an excess information. And then, for example, I want to add stuff here. For example, description number one. I can add anything there. Basically, this is going to be ending by my own preference. Now, what can we do next is going back on page template right there. Make sure you go right there. If you want to save this one, simply click on save current page as a template. If I save this one, I'm going to name it sample two, just for the sake of the discussion. And if I click this one right here, the checkbox, this is going to be enabled as a default template for any new pages that I have in the current section. But for now, I'm not going to enable this one. Simply click on save. Now, if I go on my templates right here, I'm going to have two options. I have one for the earlier one, the tutorial box template that I wanted that I made beforehand. And the one we did here, basically sample two. Now, right now for the next feature is going to be integrating Outlook and OneNote. For example, I have a sample email here. By the way, if you want to see this one right there, you have reply, reply all and forward, right? If I click on this applications, I'm going to see OneNote, right? But this is not yet integrated. How to fully integrate it is click on the three dots. Click customize icons. Make sure that this is going to be tick. Click on save and we're now going to see OneNote fully integrated in our Outlook application. So if I click on this one right there, this will show up. It will ask me to sign in. I'm getting back, back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. We have it right here under the toilet box. You're going to have different notebooks of your choosing. Make sure to choose one section. Simply click on save right there. And this will now open up on OneNote. So welcome back to the video. We have it right here, the email from Outlook. Of course, guys, you can rename this. For example, let's just say email Outlook and then apply some bold letters and we have it right there. So basically, those are the free features that I'm going to give to you inside the OneNote. 
there are still a lot of things going on here. For example, there should be the name loop here inside the insert option. If you click on that one, you can have some task management there. For example, if you want to add type task here, and basically you're going to have a link there that says one click of an option gives you a task management list. So that's going to be for the paid subscription of Microsoft 365. You can also integrate this one inside Teams. I just want you to let you know of that. So those two features are for the paid trial, which is actually a good one. Anyway, that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.